Bruins have whooped Arizona State 18 straight times. First half, Baron Davis, one of his two steals to J.R. Henderson, straight butter. Henderson, 31 points. Baron Davis, the freshman, five assists. Second half, UCLA's Jelani McCoy picks up Arizona State's Elon Lewis, mature and secure enough to hold another man. Mm. Really tough. How about that alley oop to Urit Kelly? Lewis got a lift, so he handed out eight assists. Then Brandon Lloyd, long three, done. Lloyd only took two shots, both of them threes, made both. UCLA wins it 78 to 73. They had to see in Mike's dad, Henry. First half, USC from the outside. Gary Johnson, long three, on and popping. Johnson, 30 points and four of nine shooting from three land. Then Elias Iyoso, six of nine from three point land. Bibby watching Arizona come correct. His son, Mike Bibby, buried the jumper. Then Miles Simon stopped Pops. Simon, 8 of 15 shooting. Jason Terry, the three from the corner. One of seven Jonah Trays. Lou Dolson's cats on a 21 to 4 run. And then Miles Simon, the drive to the hole, got his swerve and his Mac on. Simon, 26 points, six assists. Arizona wins at 91-72. Pops for an upset. You know, I think he's going to break out with some kind of eczema or rash or something, all that green paint. First half, Chris Weems got the ball in the left wing, converted at one of 13 buckets. He was 13 of 18. Four of six from three-point land. Then Weems, floater in the paint. Chris, it's all good. Finished with 34 points. Stanford wins at 89-67. His 34 points. On the action, Billy Tubbs would see from Clayton Shields of the University of New Mexico for three... Then Shields, the follow-up, jam. Now more Shields from outside, three. It's good. Clayton Shields for three. Clayton Shields for three. I'm gonna be still in the first half here. Clayton Shields for three. Five of six from three-point range in the first half. Billy Tubbs wondering where in the world is Texas Lutheran. Second half, different half, same old Clayton Shields story. His sixth three-pointer. Can we have his seventh three-pointer, please? We can. Now more Shields, the great catch and finish on the lob. More of the Clayton Shields show starring Clayton Shields. That's a three-pointer, ties a school record, then he drives the lane for the monster jam. Goodness gracious, Clayton Shields, 34 points. That's a career high, eight of nine from three-point range. That's a school record for threes. Oh, steals the ball, finds Joseph To'omu, who feeds Ow. So to recap, Ow to To'omu to Ow. Ow. Hoyas up now. Ow. West Virginia responding. Damian Owens responding himself. Mountaineers down four, and much to John Thompson's chagrin, the Mountaineers would climb the mountain all the way back and pull away. Marcus Gorey, the big jam. Coach Gail Catlett is raising his hands because he's already up big. John Woods tries to get out of the Texas trap, nearly throws it away, but Jeff Hayfair saves it, gets it all the way to Monte Harge, outlet to Tyrone Lee for three. He got it. Tigers up 25 at the half, raising the roof in the second half. Kelly Thames takes it all the way. Thames had a good night, too. Tigers looking for the exclamation point, and Lee and Thames combined to provide it. Thames on the alley-oop. Tigers roll 91-69. The guy playing for dad, Wayne Turner, blows by everybody. Sweet reverse lay-in. Wayne had 20 Wildcats up five. Late first half, freshman Saul Smith, Tubby's kid. I'm feeling you, Saul. Six points on two three-pointers. Hey, maybe mom's cheering for him after all, Gigi. Dogs, Lorenzo Hall, big block on Jeff Shepard, one of three Georgia blocks. You got to know when to hold them. Later in the half, Finizzi Ransom is going to kidnap the rebound, rock the house. He had 10 points, five rebounds, dogs down 11. Kentucky, though, too tough down the stretch. Nazi Muhammad takes the pass, touchdown. He had 12 points, Wildcats win it, 90-79, to ball game. Against Kentucky, Tubby Smith was 0-5 when he coached Bobby Knight facing Brian Ellaby for the first time. First half, Andre Patterson. Three from the top, off the hook. He had 19 points, three of three from three land. Check out number 24, Michael Lewis. Back to the ball, Travis Conlon scores right over him. Two of Conlon's six. On Lewis's way back down the court, Coach Knight censored 
something to say about his defense. Lewis doesn't appreciate it. During the timeout, oh, it is on. Grabs his guy, yelling in his face. Lewis is like, get off me. Charlie Miller says, Lewis, let me pull you back here. Knight would say later, he turned his back to the ball. I'll show him on tape so he'll be very aware of what he did. Afterwards, though, kissing and making up. That's Bobby Knight's way of kissing his guy. Friendly pat on the, on the top. Luke Reckner with the miss. A.J. Guyton gets the rebound, finds William Gladness. Glad he did. Gladness gladly scored 14. Indiana goes on to win easily 80. Hamilton trying to get things started, and Dwayne Wimley certainly got it started, blocking Richard Hamilton. Monquincio hard net, however, would be undaunted as he goes hard to the net. Good gracious. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Miami answers Tim James blocked by Antrick Kleber, but he comes up with the follow jam. 36-31 Canes at the half. UConn would make a run. Richard Hamilton was fabulous. Three of his 31, part of an 11-0 run time. The game at 42, but Miami just too much. Kevin Norris alley oop to Lucas Barnes. Caps a 15-3 run, and Miami goes on a win. 76 to 67, the Canes cut down UConn again in Miami and in seven. BC up 38-24 at the half. Nova up under 20 seconds left. Nova's up two. Zephy Penn hits the second free throw. He gets the rebound, kicks it out to John Celestan, who steps on the half court line. Over and back, Eagles tie it from the line of force overtime. Steve Lapis can't believe it, but he'll like what he sees in OT. Brian Lynch misses, Malik Allen misses, but Penn is able to put it in. And the Wildcats win 68-65. So we're nice lay in Bay, who broke his nose last month, broke some ankles in this one. He had 23. Second half, St. Joe's building a house with so many bricks. Robert Haskins, one of many misses. They only shot 39%. This leads to the easy lay in for Torrey Jefferson. But the real story was the guy who didn't want to share. Tyson Wheeler was the bomb from the left wing. No doubt. Kid was 25 of 68 on three-pointers coming into this game. Smooth. 9 of 15 on threes in this one. From the left, from the left, you know Tyson Wheeler was butter because he was on a roll. A new school record, nine threes, 35 points, 22 in the second half. Said Tyson, anytime somebody goes and gets one of my records, I had to go get it back. Sure, and Dayton, the Bonnies go down. Dayton introduces you to Towboy. First half, Damien Densler down court about to jam it. Oh, there's Towboy. It's incoming. Got out of the way. That was not a tray. Just a two-pointer, 13 half, points for Dancer. Second half, Cameron Murray getting his vibe on. He had 16, Cardinals up 59-51. Dantzler underneath gets blocked. Eric Johnson picks up the rebound, gets the hoop. Cardinals up by 10. Cardinals in control. Damon Dantzler, new towel boy. Just working his way up the chain. Cardinals win it 73. Two free throws. South Carolina leads 71 to 70. Gamecocks, all they have to do is hold the ball. All they have to do, just hold the ball. But Melvin Watson pushes it up court, passes to Ryan Stack, just hold the ball, gets it back. He misses the runner. Billy Despontro grabs the board. Down court, Drew Maddox wide open. Oh. Drew Maddox was wide open, couldn't hold on to it. Gamecocks escape. 71 to 70. He's the name of the game. Chris Burgess steps in front of the pass, getting more playing time as Burgess with Elton Brand out for the season, feeds Mike Chappelle, Duke up three early. Now NC State turning the table. CC Harrison with a nifty swipe, spots Kenny Inge ahead of the pack, and the Wolfpack only down eight at the half. Second half, now Duke's defense taking over. Chris Carowell comes up with the loose ball, fires ahead to William Avery for the nifty lay-in and foul. Avery's three-point play gives Duke a 10-point lead. Now more Duke D. Steve Wojciechowski scoops up the errant pass, runs the break, dishes to Shane Battier. Battier with the rip. Duke wins 64-50. At 3-0, Duke is off to its best ACC start. And in the game after his fourth foul, just one minute into the second half, after which Maryland taking over. Obina Akazi rips it home. Then Leron Prophet misses, Casey misses, but Mike Martisich doesn't. Maryland down only one now. More inside play. Prophet cashing in with the pass to Martisich. Maryland up one with 12 minutes to go, and then we're pulling away Sharunis Yesikavichis to Akazi, and I'm earning my keep. 18 points, 11 boards Stay for Eddie Casey. Quickly. I'm not going. At home, late in the first half, Lester Earl. Billy Thomas for three. Earl. 
Ryan Robertson, perfect night. Seven for seven from the field, career, career high 20. Billy Thomas for three. Nick Bradford pulls up. Kenny Gregory steals the ball and finishes emphatically. Colorado with another turnover. Robertson feeds Gregory to cap a 21 to nothing run. KU paced by 20 points apiece by Robertson and Earl and Cruz. So at least maybe the buffs improved. They only gave up 111 points this time. It's Colorado hustling. Brian Cardinal, Brad Miller going for the loose ball and then collide and they hit a cop. Actually, everyone was okay. Second half, Miller gets the block, starts the break. Alan Eldridge to Chad Austin, who had 15. And Gene Cady. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, clap your hands. Woohoo! 77-55, your final. The Boilermakers' defense was percolating.